Hey there, and welcome back to Arlen Plays Earthbound, Episode 6. Last time, we beat up Titanic Ant and the Onet Police Force, because clearly that was productive. And this time, we are on our way to Tucson for reasons that haven't really come up yet. Mostly because of my impatience, I'm not going to go through it. But if you do go to bed, if, like, if you sleep places, eventually Paula does let you know that you need to go to Tucson. Or I could always ask the hint guy, I suppose. So this one I'll let slide. It's a little bit obnoxious, but still. Hey, aren't you Ness? Well, I got the okay from Chief Strong to let you through. Take care of yourself. You're doing well. Keep it up. The town map can be checked out at the library. You can also use the map in Tucson. It's really useful. I'm sure it is. And there's a house over here. Oh, well, that's cool. Okay. Oh, and for those of you curious, I'm chilling out at level 11. I live rent-free in the mouse's house. The mice are known as exit mice. They are very kind, and boy are they fast. I really love these guys. Do I get to come along too? Trust me on the dark road. Please take my son along. He may look like a regular small mouse, but he can lead you to an exit if you're lost in a maze. Will you take one of my sons along? Yes. He's a tough boy. You can treat him as one of your items. Ness got the exit mouse. I like that it actually is the person who, like, like it's one of these guys that comes along with you. I also like that they have signs sticking out of their heads. Onward to Tucson. Where am I? Okay, I'm below the map somewhere. And that appears to be a mushroom. Ramblin' evil mushroom. Oh no, whatever shall I do? Let's see. I could try to hypnotize it. Let's see if that works. It did not work on the ramblin' evil mushroom. Well, I guess I'll just bash it then. Scattered some floors. Ness began to feel strange. Um, well then, apparently I just bashed myself in the head with my bat, because that clearly is a great use of my time. I'm just going to run, so that I don't continue to um, beat myself to death, and hope to God that I can get away this time. Ah, uh, and I got taken out by a mushroom. Wow, I'm really doing awesome today. <sighs> well then. Wasn't planning on that, but okay. Eat some steak and scoot up to bed. Of course, I suppose this is what I get for not healing after getting the crap beaten out of me by Captain Strong. Huh. No message from Paula. I'm kind of disappointed on that. Well, at any rate, I will cut to when I'm back below t the uh, town here, so... See you guys on the other side. And I'm back, finally. Hopefully this time I won't get completely destroyed by uh, silly mushrooms. That is a lot of things. I'm assuming those are slugs or something. Alright, onward. Ness opened the present. There's a hamburger inside. Ness takes it. Well, at least it's more sanitary than doing it out of the garbage now, isn't it? Kind of hoping to find another one of those mushrooms, because I wanted to talk more about that status effect, but I'm sure there will be mushrooms later. Although, I could quick check. Alright, there it is. Since I know that it can take more than one hit, I'm going to bash it once. Alright, 37 of damage. Alright, now I'm going to defend until it spores me. Just because I love this status effect. It amuses me, and I want money. Which you'll understand in a bit. Come on, guard, come on. Scattered some spores. Yes! Okay, so this is something because I don't usually deal with it in battle very much. Apparently, only when it says Ness is feeling funky does it do the confusion random targeting thing. And look at that, I leveled up too. Excellent. I realized the power of Shield Alpha. So out of combat is where the really interesting bit happens. Aside from the sprite attached to my head now, it does some very strange things, and I was not expecting to see that here. Hmm, this could be a problem. Cyrock, and it is. Pow. Black Antoid A. Black Bantoid. Bantoid? 
And Ramblin' Evil Mushroom. Cast... Right... Oh gods, oh gods. Darn it! Oh. Alright, you know what? Enough of this crap. I'll be back. Well, I'll just get back to Tucson. But what the thing does is it actually scrambles your movement controls out of combat. Of course, it figures that I would have crit myself on the one time when it wouldn't have, was particularly bad to do so. That's pretty freaking obnoxious, I have to say. So, see you all when I get back. Alright, let's try this again. I actually got this mushroom unintentionally on the way over here, so that works out, I suppose. Getting away from you... I'm not an enemy. I'm just a friendly mole. I'll tell you how to distinguish between your friends and enemies. It's easy to tell an enemy just by looking at them. Enemies look like humans with weird colored faces. Beware of them. However, if you can't get... You can't get more powerful if you avoid your enemies. That's some wide advice there. Wide? Wise advice. Black Antoid's opening attack. Bash it. Black Antoid became tame. And it scrambled my controls. Currently, uh, pressing right is down. Fortunately, I am pretty good at maneuvering with these controls, but... Would you like me to tell you about Tucson? Sure. Tucson has a modern, clean hotel. There is a hospital and, a, and the wonderful Chaos Theater. There is the Pole Star Preschool and a nice bus station. If you're curious, you might want to check out Ber Berglund Park. It's exciting. East of town, you find the Peaceful Rest Valley. On the other side of the valley is Happy Happy Village. There's also a pizza parlor. Do you want to know anything else? Well, teehee, I don't know anything else. Well, alright then. And the, the other thing with the scrambling controls, it happens at random. Like, completely random. So, let's go get this taken care of. Uh, well, once the photo guy is done, apparently. Pictures taken instantaneously! I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory! Look at the camera! Ready? Say Fuzzy Pickles! Wow, what a great photograph! It will always bring back the fondest of memories! And then he zips away. Not entirely sure how he does that. Pushing up to get... Hello, Mr. T. I saw some weird bad guy following Paula. This guy gave me the creeps. Don't ask why he had that particular accent. I, I don't know. Alright, let's see. And it's swapped on me again. So now they are reversed. Like, literally reversed. I heard Paula was kidnapped, but still unconfirmed. So, the town map! It works here, too! Amazing how that happens! Okay, it looks like the hospital is in the top right. And I noticed that there's an icon down in the bottom right there that... I would... If I remember correctly, I believe that's the bus stop, so it actually shows you where you can get picked up by the bus. Nifty! Back to... Back to my reversed controls. Onward and inward. Or I can walk back outside again because my controls are messed up. Alright, let's see. They can't help me, so let's talk to this dude. So you may not believe it, I'm a healer. If you have some illness that cannot be treated at the hospital, it's my job to cure you. Hey, now that I notice, could you sell me the mushroom growing on top of your head? Come on, let's make a deal. Yes? Thanks, I'll pay you $50 for each mushroom. Alright, let's do it. By the way, do you need any help? Nope. Hmm, come back when necessary. Would you look at that? Fifty bucks for dying twice. No, I don't need to be examined. My shot didn't hurt. I'm sure everyone is talking about it, but don't worry about me. Oh, it's good to have my controls back. Still, I, I kind of appreciate having a status effect that has an impact outside of combat. That isn't just poison. I got bit by zombies in Threed the next town over, so I'm stuck in this hospital. I left something good at the Threed hospital, but now I can't go get it because the bus can't get through the tunnel. Well then, sounds like we have da -da -da -da, a side quest. Of course, if he got bit by zombies, shouldn't they be keeping him in better quarantine for when he turns? Or maybe are they not that kind of zombie? I don't know. 
I wanted to see the circus in three, the next town over. But I hurt my leg in Peaceful Rest Valley. Well, it must not be pe very peaceful or restful. I can tell you from past experience, it's not. No problem here, because I'm not close enough to the guy. I had an argument with my friend about happy happyism. I see. Well, clearly, uh, you lost a friend, because he's not here anymore. But, considering that we don't yet know what happy happyism is, that uh, is something we'll have to deal with later, I feel. You know, that's something that I... I kind of find amusing, and in uh, in some ways it's refreshing, in some ways it's kind of sad. This is one of the few games where it is definitely an RPG, so you run around, you talk to various townspeople and that sort of thing. But unlike a lot of RPGs out there, you don't handle literally everyone in town's little issues. They, they apparently are living their lives. They're just here. Did you know that two young adventurers live in this town? I want to invent something too. Well, hop to it. Try, try improving something first. I hear that's how innovation happens. Alright, there's that guy. There's the dude in the convertible chilling out. I wonder if I can talk to that guy. But I have to catch him first, which would be kind of a pain, I feel. But still. Dad and Mom have left for Happy Happy Village. They want to meet with the founder of the religion there. So, they just left you here? They left their child, son, here? Why? Why would you do that? Get back here. Or you can despawn. That works too. There we go. I always see you walking around. Walking is good for your health. Which is why I'm in a car. Because I don't work out. I'm just naturally like this. Alright, let's see. Okay, yeah, we, we did miss a few things because I was going to go take care of that mushroom. I'll deal with the department store in a bit. It's my item status at. You know what? I am hungry. Let's have a cookie. Cycle shot. Let's check this place out. This is a cycle shop, plunk sure! Bicycles are so much fun and are so convenient. It's a lot faster than walking. You'll be really popular with the biking crowd. Do you want a bicycle? Yes. Unfortunately, we don't have any more bikes for sale. We only have rentals. Do you want to rent one? Sure, why not? I really like your straightforward style. I'll tell you what, I'll let you borrow a bike for free. Gee, that sounds pretty good. Anyway, that's got the bicycle. You know that two people can't ride on one bicycle, so of course three or four people on a bike would be impossible. Did you also know that you can't ride a bike with anything following you? Teddy bears, for example? Because it's illegal in Eagle Land? Oh, wait. Carrying a bear and riding is impossible for you. And don't even think about riding a bike into a cave. Well, why not? Aren't they mountain bikes? I mean, come on now. How am I doing health-wise? I'm doing alright, so I don't really need to do that. But I do want to explore the hotel. You must be a rich boy to stay at a nice first-class hotel like this one. If that's your way of looking for to me for a tip, you're going to be out of luck, buddy. How much does this place charge, anyway? Uh, $50. Nope. You don't need to spend $50 for a couple of HP. Strangely enough, I'm good. Oh, there's a guy with an I Love Something t-shirt that appear apparently flips because of the way that they animated it. Do I have a mushroom on my head? Yes. That's what I thought. Recently, I couldn't walk quite right. It was because of this mushroom. It's actually kind of fun, so I'll leave it there. Don't you think I look stylish with the mushroom? No. I think that you look poor. Is there anybody in this room over here? Nope. But there's two beds in this one. Oh, man. And what do you say? What? So, what? Huh? Pardon? Jeez. Hmm. You're annoying. Dang me. What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, you. Later days, pal. Ah! Ha <laughs> ha! Multiple entendre. Oh, wait. 
It's so hot today. It rocks. Is it cold today? Oh ho ho! See ya! Here, get yourself a juice or something. Ka-ching! Ness got $50. Good luck, okay? Huh. So let me get this straight. You walk up to a random dude you've never seen in a hotel and just keep talking to him and talking to him and talking to him and then he'll reveal that he is apparently extremely rich because a juice box costs $50 for him. Or maybe a can of juice since we did see one of those earlier. That just seems a little ridiculous, don't you think? Do you want to buy a ticket to the Runaway F5 show? Um, we could. But I don't think I want to right now. Let's see, would you like to return something? No. Oh, that's good. Please stop by again. This department store isn't crowded. I like that. I always feel much better after hearing my mom's voice over the phone. I was really homesick recently, and my mom cheered me right up. You should call your mom sometime. Believe me, those melancholy feelings will be gone before you know it. Well, I have to say, that is actually a hint for later on, because eventually I will become homesick. It's one of the random status ailments that they have in this game, and only Ness can suffer from it. I find this kind of amusing. Fortunately, it, go it stops popping up as you get to a high enough level. Unfortunately, it's completely random. It can happen literally at any time. I heard a meteorite crashed into a hilltop near Onet. That must have been exciting. I, you know, if I had been awake for it, it might have been. Yum yum. Mm, I'm eating a skip sandwich. It makes you want to start skipping. I saw it on a TV ad, and I just had to try one. I bet I can move, really move after eating this. Strangely enough, I don't think that you're actually skipping, because I, I don't skip that fast. Just throwing that out there. Look at all this food that I don't need. And a burger place, which I'm not even going to look at the menu of this one. I think my grandchild is older than you. He's a famous inventor. He lives here, and people call him Orange Kid. He seems to be popular with the girls, because he's groovy? I feel as though your slang is slightly out of touch. This is 1990X. Ha. Go back to 1980X or 1970X, where you belong. I want to visit my boyfriend in three, except the bus won't go there. I wonder why. That teddy bear they sell over there. I heard it helps in battle. I don't know what they're talking about. It looks like a plain old teddy bear to me. Hmm. Happy Happy Village is getting to be more and more blue. Do you get it? Uh, it, they're getting sad. That's awful. Hi, can I help you? So what are you going to buy? Cold Renemy or Teddy Bear? I'm cool without getting a teddy bear. You're just here to say hi? What a loser. Alright, what can I get here? T-Ball Bat is the same. Frying Pan I can't even use. Slingshot is better, but they're inaccurate, so I'm not going to use them. And, okay, it looks like there's literally nothing for me to, to get here. Huh. Well, that was a pointless shopping trip. Alright, well... I'm not entirely sure where, what we need to do at this point, so let's continue to explore the town, shall we? And since we have it, we can use our brand new shiny bicycle. Riding this makes you feel like whistling. You can even ring the bell by pressing the R button. Wow, I even tell you that. You should ride your bike in a less confining area. Like the street? You should. What? The heck? Ness rode a bicycle. Huh, it actually moves you forward automatically. And apparently I'm only slightly slower than the cars. And as you can see, new music. Ring in the bell. Ness got off the bike. What? I, but I just. Oh. Tonight, the boogie is back. It's the Runaway Fives night. If I had some connections, I could waltz right in, but I'm just a regular Joe. I love standing in a queue. I also love words that start with Q. Queen, quiet, quick. Q is a great word, because of, <laughs> because of that U-E-U-E -U -E thing. Throws so many people off. I'm starting a line here. I want a show for today's show. A show for today's ticket? A ticket for today's show, but I may not get it. But you're at the front of the line. 
We, that's right, we are the Runaway Five. We're popular, but not rich. We're being cheated by this theater, and we're really deep in debt. Well, thank you, Mr. Exposition. We may be popular, but that girl who lives at the house at the preschool is the talk of the town. I want to see her someday. I might be able to arrange that at some point. So, let's check out the inside of this place, or at least some of it. I guess I lost my ticket, so now I can't get in. The ticket counter at the department store was even sold out. Hello, please present your ticket. Uh, I don't have a ticket, so I guess I can't do anything. You want to see Poochie Food? Poochie Fud? The manager? Right through this door, please. The Runaway Five owe me a lot of money. They'll stay here until they pay me back. They might be here for a hundred years, unless you decide to pay off their debt. <laughs> well, that was a hint. Side quest. Pay off their debt. So, so far we've got the dude in the hospital and paying off the Runaway Five's debt to deal with as far as side quests go. Hmm. However, I believe we are out of time for today. So, thank you all for watching. If at all you liked what you saw, please click like and highly consider subscribing. I have a video coming out every Monday, Wednesday, Friday for the foreseeable future. If you have any comments, thoughts, questions, suggestions, leave them below or on the Facebook fan page. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time.